physics laboratory i am dr p perry sami department of physics nehru institute of engineering technology today in this video we are i am going to demonstrate the x model experiment the aim is to determine the x models of the given beam and uh, to perform this experiment what all the instruments we need that is given in apparatus okay in this experiment we need travel microscope two knife heads sorted by one meter scale screw guides vernier caliper so these instruments this uh, apparatus we need to perform this uh, uh, x models uniformity and next the formula for the experiment so in this experiment we have one formula that is y is equal to 3 mg a x squared by 2 bd cube y its unit is newton meter minus 2 and uh, uh, the expansion for this uh, letter is uh, let us ask here m represents load applied so we will apply the gram and g obviously everyone know that is acceleration due to gravity its unit is near uh, meter second square and a represents distance between two knife heads to the applied load its unit is meter and uh, l represents distance between two knife heads b represents breadth of the scale d represents thickness of the scale and finally y is equal to y which represents elevation produced let us go for demonstration so in this experiment whatever the we need uh, apparatus we have so here we have the trolley microscope 1 meter scale two knife heads two uh, weight slot to measure the thickness and breadth of the skin we have vernier caliper and screw gates so now let us so in this trolley microscope we have uh, a main scale and vernier scale so in the uh, in previous uh, video i have demonstrated how to use this instrument and what all the parts we have here we have and how to handle it how to take the reading everything i have demonstrated in a previous video please watch it to get the more information about this i am going to focus the tip of the pin with the help of this microscope so in this microscope you can see one plus symbol it is called cross wire in that cross wire the tip of the pin should touch the the horizontal line okay and this then only we can take the reading from main scale reading and when is scale reading so i am going to adjust it and i am going to focus it okay fine so now the tip of the pin is touching the horizontal uh, horizontal line so now the instrument is ready to take the reading so here uh, you may know that here we have two scale main scale and vernier scale so the vernier scale in vernier scale there will be arrow mark the arrow mark where it points it on main scale that represents main scale reading that we have to write in this derivation okay so in this derivation we have two part one is loading and second one is unloading okay and now we are going to add the load so we have write the reading in loading so here we have the empty uh, weight hanger that represents wg okay so whatever reading we are getting from main scale reading that we have to write here and uh, so in vernier scale there will be fifty line among the fifty line one line will coincide with the main scale that line we have to focus with the help of lens that reading we have to write here in uh, vernier scale reading okay then we have to add another mass in two x uh, two n so here we have uh, here i have added one mass and uh, here also i have added so what happened it applying the force in downward direction so the scale it starts to elevate in upward directions okay so once the scale started to elevation means the pin it will go in upward direction so again we have to look through the trolley microscope we have to adjust this tip adjust the uh, the tip of the pin to touch the vertical line okay sorry the horizontal line okay fine now i have added one mass at the both end so it is it to form elevation so after the elevation the pin it will go in upward direction again the uh, the tip it will go in some somewhat as a downward direction so that i have adjusted with the help of this screw to make it to touch the horizontal line okay so now i have to take the reading from main scale reading and vernier scale reading so both value we have to write in here w plus 50 okay then i have to add another one mass in at both ends so here i have added and in this end also i have added one mass so the scale it forms another elevation again the pin it goes in the upward directions so what we have to adjust this screw 
to make a cohesion between her and line. Okay, yeah? so now it is uh, the, tip, the tip of the pin, it is touching the uh, vertical line, sorry, uh, horizontal line, so that we have to, we are, it is ready to take the reading. Okay, yeah? so here I can see the main scale reading and also the main scale reading. From the main scale reading, whatever you are reading you are getting, you simply write in the stabilization. Okay, after adding all the readings, all the uh, load, okay, we have to go for, so after taking all the reading, we have to substitute the values in this formula. Okay, already we have discussed this formula, x modulus y is equal to 3 mg a l square by 2 b v cube y u to enter minus 2. Here, here m represents mass that is applied load, that applied load is 50 times by minus 3. And g represents acceleration due to gravity, that is 9.8. A represents the distance between 9th edge to the applied load, that value is 10 cm. And L represents the distance between 2 9th edge. So here, in this experiment, I have placed that 60 cm. So that we are writing here. And B represents the breadth of the scale, D represents the thickness of the scale. To find breadth and thickness of the scale, already I have presented one video. So from that video and the calculation, we can uh, find the breadth and thickness of the scale. That value we can substitute here. And Y represents elevation. Elevation produced in the scale that we can obtain at the bottom of the mean value from the state ratio. Okay. And uh, substitute all the value and uh, solve it. You will get the X modulus of the given beam from this formula that we have tried in the result column. Okay.